Greetings everyone, like the butterfly making its way out of the cocoon, that is me, like the eagle soaring above the clouds, that's me, I can literally feel the shackles breaking and the doors opening and the rise of the sun to celebrate the morning, that's me, I want to say thanks to the person who sent me what you currently see on the screen that good morning cheer or encouragement that constant reminder that we are in control as long as we allow the great spirits to be in control we're in the driver's seat as long as the navigator is or yeah now, the message this morning is to remind you that when you're going through the storms of life, the people you see, whether celebrating or jeering, are the important characters in this game of life. Okay? Those who are here to support you will always be in the minority. So when things are going well, those who are around you are often the ones you should be looking at with John these eyes. It's the ones that are there with you, encouraging you, celebrating you, reminding you. When you fall down and you cannot even speak, sometimes they understand that language, that at that time, all they need to do is sit at your doorway for when it's time for you to return. And I know those people in my life and these persons cannot pretend because guess what? Year over year over year, they will always remain in character. The ones who are your frenemies will also remain in character. So pay close attention to that. When I get into these moments, when I need to stay focused, um, and there are times when I have to go through warfare, and that means cutting off the world, cutting off... It doesn't matter how close you are to me. Uh, that could mean people in my household. You know, only those who require me to communicate with them on a day-over-day -day basis where, you know, in order to get the smooth running of this household, you know, um, we have to communicate. Other than that, I'm withdrawn. And I used to apologize for that, but I don't apologize for that anymore. When I know the fire or the furnace is so hot and I have to buckle down, then I have to separate myself from people. I stay close to plants or animals because not only do they fuel me, but they provide me with that reminder of who we are, connection to earth and to all living things. It is at this critical juncture that I, I get to know myself and understand as I remain quiet, and listen, understand the message, understand the instruction or the assignment. So during this time, when you're removing yourself, whether it be from social media, whether it be from whatever it is that you find yourself spending a lot of time uh, before you're doing your meditations, once you're removed from that, understand that is supposed to provide you with just light, with energy, with strength. And there are times when you might be going through things where you can definitely see yourself somehow feeling like you're going through some kind of circuit, short circuit. And at that time, you have to hunker down and really pull from deep to connect to spirit. For those who love you and those who you truly love will know and understand. And they'll be there. They'll be waiting. It is such a beautiful feeling. And they're few. And those of us who know the importance of being connected at this time will embrace the loneliness. Will accept the thing or the fact that some people are not capable of loving you. They don't even love themselves. 
some people are not capable of loyalty because they never experienced that themselves. So we don't take these things personal. Okay. And not everyone is meant to go on the next journey. Remember that. Some people are, you know, supposed to bring you through to that point where you're about to receive that next lesson and they have to say goodbye or you have to say goodbye to them uh, because the next portion of your life required, requires elevation and they're not there in their state of mind, in a negative state of mind. You know, they cannot help you to elevate and so you have to just leave them, leave them behind and it's not a problem. You don't leave them be behind with anger or resentment or any of that. You just understand that they just cannot come with you. They don't have the visa, okay? They don't have the permit. They're not allowed, okay? So uh, well, if you see your numbers climbing, you know, and all this love and adoration during those critical years, something is off. Something is wrong. You're never going to have a lot of person you know, surrounding you and hugging you and loving you and supporting you, you know, especially when you're about to make a breakthrough. Especially when you're about to make a breakthrough. Remember, the stronger the whirlwind, the greater the change. Stay blessed.